what's happening guys, we are already looking for a potential actors for a new, much younger version of Spider-Man, but something tricky comes on our way. Just recently the Daily Beast reported that apparently Andrew Garfield had some discussions about returning as Spider-Man for Sony's future Spider-Man films. That's right, even thought we've already heard that Sony and Marvel are actually collaborating, Sony will still distribute, will have the creative control of the Spider-Man films, but it's now Marvel who are actually collaborating with them and it's unclear at this point as to who exactly really has a full creative control. Obviously Sony are still continuing with their spin-off films, the release dates are currently unknown but as I reported just yesterday the Sinister Six is still in development, so is Venom spin-off film and probably the untitled female superhero spin-off film as well. Now according to the Daily Beast, uh, just before uh, the big announcement Andrew Garfield had some discussion with uh, Sony and Marvel, maybe he even attended the meeting or maybe he was given a call uh, regarding what to do and he was offered to reprise his role. Now this is a little bit tricky, it's very hard to see how it actually works. I mean Marvel did say that if they will get their hands on Spider-Man they will actually produce, create uh, Spider-Man films, future Spider-Man films, if they will include Spider-Man in the MCU, Andrew Garfield is definitely out and there's no way for Andrew to come back. Uh, now the Daily Beast also reports that th this whole thing didn't go anywhere. It's not clear whether it was Andrew who disliked uh, the opportunity to return as Spider-Man or it was actually Marvel who gave a final uh, vote basically they said listen guys you really want Spidey in MCU just don't include Andrew that's it that's our ultimatum that's what we ask for now if you ask me personally uh, Amy Pascal always wanted Andrew Garfield to be Spider-Man according to all these e leaked emails she wanted Andrew to reprise his role she wanted Andrew to go with the amazing Spider-Man 3 she wanted Andrew to stay uh, as Spider-Man. She's also the one who's probably forcing, still forcing Sony to go with the uh, Sinister Six, uh, Venom and uh, Untitled Female Superhero films, spin-off films, um, along with Abby Eret. So I wouldn't, the way I see it, it was like just before Marvel and Sony deal was signed, Amy Pascal probably for the very last time asked Andrew to return as Spider-Man and she wanted Andrew to do the Amazing Spider-Man 3 and this is the way they would have avoided the whole deal with Marvel and Sony and would actually do what Sony wanted to do originally on their own. Now what happened after that? Probably somebody else like uh, Doug Belgrad, the president of Columbia Pictures or Sony bosses at Japan who were forcing actually Sony to sign the deal with Marvel told Amy that forget about Andrew, Spider-Man joins the MCU, this is our only opportunity, you have to do it this way and that's it. Or it's actually Andrew Garfield who disliked himself, who actually said that no thanks, I'm not interested in returning as Spider-Man in your franchise. You, you, I had lot, enough shit, you know, on my way. I am not doing it. Uh, just go on your own. And then Amy said, well, no, Andrew, no, the Amazing Spider-Man 3. Let's sign the deal with Marvel. You know, that's one of the possibility. And you know, there is also the third option, which is uh, Amy asked Andrew to return, Andrew said yes, sure, of course, and then there was a meeting with Marvel and Marvel told Sony, listen, what are you doing here? We told you if Spider-Man ever joins the MCU, there is no Andrew Garfield, we are not continuing, we are not a continuation of the Amazing Spider-Man franchise. Marvel Spider-Man is Marvel Spider-Man, it's a fresh start with no Andrew Garfield. It's either Andrew or uh, Spider-Man doesn't join MCU. They basically gave Sony a choice. The last option is probably the most likely one. I mean, I don't really see Andrew saying no, I won't return as Spider-Man. Even though the Amazing Spider-Man 2 reception wasn't that well, even though Sony changed things and he blamed them for doing so, he's still a Spidey fan and he wouldn't miss an opportunity to join the Avengers. He always wanted Spidey to join the Avengers according to many, many interviews. So anyway, Andrew Garfield at this point is um, almost guaranteed to be out and like 100% he's not returning as Spider-Man and Sony are still uh, developing Sinister Six Venom spin-off films, but this time this isn't the same Sinister Six, this isn't the same Venom spin-off film which were announced like two years ago. Uh, this uh, Sinister Six and Venom spin-off uh, films will actually have to do now with the MCU and with the new Spider-Man, so it's a completely new thing. Anyway, uh, you can read the whole thing in the description box, tell me what you guys think, are you already uh, accepted the fact that Andrew won't return? Uh, What's your overall take on it? Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more, and I'm off for now.